G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna try something new today, new for me. I have made these gorgeous druzy crystal silicone mounds. <laughs> I don't know what to call them, I don't know. Anyway, there's, I've made quite a few already. There's that one, there's that one which is a little bit shorter and then there's that one which is, I'll tip them over so you can see, a little bit shorter again. Um, I've got some other sizes, little guys, little dudes, I've got other shapes. Anyway, I'm going to do like a series on using these. Um, today I'm going to use that big one, so I'll put these aside. I need a name for them. Let me know what you think I should call these, because I can't just call them silicon mounds, can I? They need, they need a name. <laughs> now, I'm totally inspired by this little trinket bowl, the colours anyway. Um, sort of a turquoise, a blue and a, a pink, which has kind of gone purple with the two colours mixing. So I've used these ones here. Cerulean by Let's Resin, Sapphire Blue by Let's Resin and Peach Red by Let's Resin. The blue took like literally one drop. This Cerulean had I think three. The Peach Red, I just kind of squirted the rest of my bottle in there, probably like 20, 30 drops it took to get that colour. I don't know, maybe it's just old. But anyway, it's empty now. So those are my colours. Um, I'm going to get my glove back on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my skull mould. It's the first time I've used this skull mould. Never used it before. Um, and I'm going to put my druzy in there. It just, it just fits over the top. I hope it doesn't sink. But I kind of want it to just sort of sit in there like that. So that's, that's my plan for today, you guys. Now the first thing I need to do, I've mixed up my colours as you can see. I need to pop my little druzy in there. This is just clear resin. Um, and I just want to like push him around in there a little bit. See all the bubbles, look at all the bubbles. See? So just coat him first. And hopefully, you know, we'll get rid of some of those excess bubbles. So he can just sit in there for a bit while I get started on everything else. Um, I am using my river resin, river table resin from Platinum because this is a deep mold and I want to pour it all in once. I mean you could I guess do it in, if you're just doing clear, you could just do it in once but because I've got different colours, I couldn't, you know, you couldn't do it in layers, you'd, you'd see them. Um, and I do want to use my pressure pot but, this is the big but. Once I start, if I put all three colours in, because I want to put all three in, like layer them, green, blue, pink, or pink, blue, green. Um, once I put it in the pressure pot and all the bubbles start coming up, that, are they just going to mix and blend or are they going to stay in their, in their colours? I, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking they're going to mix. I'm just going to spray my gloves with some alcohol and get them clean. So yeah, um, it, we'll just get started, hey? I think it's I think it's clean. I haven't used it before, so it should be clean. Now, I really don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I, I'm assuming it's just all going to, something in there, that it's all just gonna mix when I start pouring, isn't it? Do you think? Yeah, look, we won't know until we, we won't know until we have a go. So we'll just have a go. If the colours blend, is that on the inside? Oh, might be on the outside. If the colours blend, then the colours blend and we're going to get some weird shade. I don't know what we'll get with green, blue and pink, but it'll probably be gross. But anyway, all right, let's just do this. Just start, shall we? Um, I think I'm going to go pink. I need someone to help me. <laughs> I need someone to help me. Oh, look, these are just going to blend, aren't they? They are. Oh, gosh. These, these area down here is the deepest, so we'll put those two colours in first. I hope I've got enough. I mixed up 322, okay, I can't do that one handed, 322 grams, I did 225 grams of A, I did 97 grams of B, so that's 
2.2 or something like that. I have got some in here. So put the green down this end. Yeah, I'm, I'm spilling, I'm spilling. Gosh, I didn't think it would, I didn't think it would take so much. I thought, I thought 300, like 10 ounces would be fine. So I thought, oh, I'll just make up 322, um, which is like, well, almost 11 ounces. I thought, yeah, that'll do. Do you think I need to put it in the pressure pot though? Maybe I don't need to. Maybe I can just not because I think it's just gonna all blend don't you think I've got a bit there that I haven't haven't mixed properly you can see it's a bit streaky probably because I wiped the side of the cup <laughs> oh my gosh all right there we go we do have lots of bubbles I can see I can see like a purple which I knew the blue and the pink would make a purple um, I'm loving the colours. I'm just, I'm just so unsure about if I put it in the pressure pot, is it just going to all uh, swirl? But look, I don't want bubbles. I don't want bubbles. So I'm going to put it in there. Um, I'll do another video another day of using it. I have done one before. Uh, I showed you, if you want to see it, it was the big um, shell, not the shell, the snail with the big shell on it um, when I used the pressure pot. So I'm just going to go and put this in there um, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so I've got it in there in my pressure pot. I'll just put that lid on top. Now bear with me, I'm doing this one handed, okay? So bear with me. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit. There we go. make sure that I've got the same overhang all the way around I think that's difficult doing it one-handed you guys okay now that one's off that one needs to be open same um, direction as the pipe so that you know that's open and then we come around here and we just flick that on and we leave it and then the gauge goes up and it goes all the way around it won't start doing any like pulling any bubbles just yet it needs to get like almost where, where is it oh, down here before it'll start but I want to keep an eye on it because I don't want it overflowing. So it's pretty easy, easy to use. I was scared of them, like I didn't get one for ages and then Des from Platinum sent me one to try out, which I'm very grateful for because I've used it a lot. Some bubbles starting to come. It's a bit difficult showing you through glass, but that's the best I can do at the moment. Here comes the bubbles. So you don't want to fill the mold too much because of the bubbles. So we're on almost on the, I go by the red line on the inside, the negative one. And I'm going to stop this now. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to flick that off. I'm going to close that, otherwise the oil will come back out of the compressor into your tubing. There's, there's oil in here. See that? It's a little, you can see the oil. Anyway, here we go. How's it looking? Bubble, bubble. Bubble, bubble. Oh, I forgot to spray it with alcohol. Um, I, I've also worked out that if you spray the surface with alcohol, um, when the bubbles come up, they just pop really easily because they're hitting the alcohol instead of just the, the top of the resin. So that works really well too. I wonder if it's all blending in there now. 
I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to do this a couple of times um, and then I'll take you back over to the workbench, okay? Actually, before I go, I'll show you just how to release that air. So, this one slowly, you can hear it, slowly. Don't go too fast, you could crack your glass. Once it kind of slows down, I do it a little bit more, and you wait until that comes all the way down the bottom. But yeah, I think all my all those bubbles coming up, it would have just mixed the colours, wouldn't it? I should have just I should have just picked a like a pink or a purple and be done with it. Okay, so that's open now, so it's released. So I'm going to spray the surface um, and I'll do this a couple more times and I'll come back to you when it's time to put that little druzy piece in. Alright, so I did it twice and um, I've just got this <laughs> bluey, greeny, purple coloured resin. So, but look, it, it's okay. It's, it's how you learn. I figured it would do it, but I just thought I'll try it anyway. So next time I think I'll just, if I have to use the... Um, vacuum chamber I'll just use one color <laughs> all right now let's see if we can get this in hey and I'm gonna actually then pop it back in the chamber like if you've got a I'm gonna put alcohol on that first um, if you've got you know a resin that's not going to give you many bubbles then you probably don't need the vacuum chamber and I may not have even needed it with with this bubbles may have come out but I think you know you can see the surface there the bubbles will come up but once you put this in um, the bubbles are going to hit this and they're going to get trapped aren't they I'm just going to kind of squish that resin into all the little holes there hope this works hope it works all right wipe off the top get a bit of paper towel all right that's oh, a sticky mess isn't it it's a sticky mess I'm going to pour some more. Look at all the bubbles in that. Let me get those bubbles out quickly. Not sure. I mean, it's going to, the, the weight of this is going to displace the resin in there. So I didn't want to put too much in. Right, oh, it's the next day. And, um, it's sitting in there, but then, like, when I turn it over, I can see that the druzy is just going to be, like, from about to there and then a tiny bit at the back, which is not what I wanted. I wanted it kind of here. So I might have to make myself a different kind of shape, which is higher, um, or st stick two of these together to put in there. But anyway, we'll, we'll see. It's, it's going to have crystal teeth, okay? <laughs> All right. Now... Let's have a look, see if I can get this out. When I've seen other people demolding skulls, it wasn't too bad. I, I don't think it was too bad. We've got a bit of overflow there. I'll have to trim that. It's a little bit messy because if I, I drop that druzy in, but I'll just be able to just trim off any little bits. I've got my bit of alcohol, isopropyl alcohol in there which I'm going to just, this, this bit here won't be too bad, I don't think, because it's only that shallow. It's the back. It's quite deep, so it might be more difficult to, to get out. So I'm just going to spray some alcohol down, right down in there. Oops, so it's sharp on top. You've got to be careful. I'm going to get my thumb right down in there so I can... Spray. It doesn't want to spray lying down though. So, all right. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can just squish that. I'm going to kind of squish a bit. Oh, look, look, squish. Oh, 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 did you see that? Oh my God, I nearly lost it. Well, that works. I'm just basically squishing that alcohol around in there. 
Who knew? Did you guys know that? Wow, look at that. Now we're just going to give birth. Look at that. There we go. Plop. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, so now we still have to take the druzy out, okay? Oh, that looks so cool. Let me just dry it off because it's got, it's wet from the alcohol now. Oh, so that's the color I ended up with. It's, it's just, it's kind of a purple, I guess. Now, I don't want to put that down on my bench because my bench might be a little bit dirty. Let's put a little bit of microcloth there, microfiber cloth there. All right. So that, that's the little bit that I need to trim off. And I'll just use my little cuticle scissors, my little cuticle trimmers, just to trim that. It hasn't totally, totally set. I mean, it's still a bit soft, the edges. So it's not hard to just trim. I'll just clean up any little bits that have gone over. And then I should should be able to just grab an end oh gosh that's going to be quite thin there isn't it <laughs> I've pushed it right up against the edge ah, I love the noise these make when they come out I'm not putting fingerprints on it am I here we go I better ease out the sides first. It's quite a thick, like deep druzy. If I wasn't doing this on video, I'd be holding it right here, like against my chest, but I'm holding it away from me so it's not quite as easy. Otherwise, you couldn't see what I was doing. I guess I could have put gloves on, hey, but we'll just hang on to that little microcloth there so I don't. <laughs> there it is okay well that came out perfectly so it's a good size but obviously it wasn't deep enough to go right up into the back of the skull but never mind never mind all right here we go let's take that away oh look how cool it is <laughs> it looks as if he's got crystal teeth you can kind of see in there. That's that's the look I wanted in there. Let me just get on my little step here so I can see what you're seeing. I'll get my step down. Yeah, a bit disappointed with the colour, but you know, you know, you know what happened. All right, so in there that's 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 what I wanted see the the crystal in there but I wanted it to come further up like to take up that whole skull but never mind we have crystal teeth and if you look into his head you can see it into his eyes there you can see the crystal in there as well so cool look at that like you can see it in there it's just yeah not as not as prominent as I wanted that's okay. I'll try again. I'll have to make myself a different shape. Um, but I've also got some other things that I want to do with this skull. So now that I've used it for the first time, and it unmolded beautifully, didn't it? Beautifully. So really happy with that. Um, now, don't, don't fill that in. Um, you could, if you wanted to, maybe put a little candle underneath. So I ordered some little flameless LED tea lights and it came this morning so I thought I'd try them out and look they've got it's got a built-in little battery in it so that's pretty cool look at that and I could choose with this one I could choose whether I wanted white light or yellow light and I personally don't like yellow light so I got the white light ones and I've popped one underneath my skull <laughs> so let me get this box out of the way I'm trying to do this one-handed so I've got him in there got the little light in there and it's really cool it's, you probably can't pick it up as much as what I can in real life but there's some light going on in there and it's 
looking pretty cool. So I'm happy with that, happy with the way it's turned out. Look at those shimmery teeth. <laughs> oh gosh. But yeah, looks looks cool. Happy with it. So next time um, I will try with a different shape, Druzy Cluster, and see if I can get, you know, uh, the the look that I wanted in the in the back of the skull there. But for my first attempt, I'm happy. Happy little Vegemite. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. And uh, I will see you all again real soon and we'll do another skull. <laughs> or we'll do something. You never know what I'm going to do. <laughs> all right. See you all soon. Bye for now.